हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट अग्नि सिक्स अग्नि सिक्स विल बी अ फोर स्टेज इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल व्हिच इज इन द हार्डवेयर डेवलपमेंट फेज आफ्टर इट्स डिजाइन फेज वाज कंप्लीटली कंप्लीटेड अग्नि सिक्स इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव मल्टीपल इंडिपेंडेंटली टारगेटेबल री एंट्री व्हीकल as well as maneuverable re-entry vehicle and these maneuverable warheads will give agni 6 an extended range extra exact figure of which is currently classified it will be taller than its predecessor agni 5 and was expected to be flight tested by 2017 the government of india is yet to approve the project it's already approved Although DRDO has completed all calculations and started the engineering work also that we know it is reported to be the latest and most advanced version among the agni missiles according to sources agni 6 missile is likely to carry up to 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of 12000 km though DRDO has refused to confirm the missile's range a senior DRDO scientist was quoted as saying that the new generation agni 6 missile will be sleeker easily transportable and would be readily deployed it will have the capability to be launched from submarine and from land based agni 6 is supposed to be a solid fueled multi stage icbm capable of carrying up to 10 nuclear thermo nuclear warheads in mirv uh and marv maneuverable uh, multiple independently reentry vehicle configuration the rocket may also have the capability to carry light decoys and shafts to beat the most formidable anti ballistic missile systems and to confuse hostile radar defenses as india has reportedly developed a deadly arsenal of double stage therm- uh, thermo nuclear fusion devices and single stage boosted fusion bombs Each MIRV warheads may have explosive yields of up to 250 kilotons, thus capable of wiping out entire metropolitan areas and vaporizing tens of millions of people with a single strike, having a gross weight of up to 70 tons. Agni 6 is supposed to be a four-stage rocket, which will also enable India to launch military satellites into low Earth orbit. that is leo l e o we call it during contingencies thus also validating its fobs fractional orbital bombardment system capability renowned strategic experts like bharat karnad brahma shalini and rakesh krishna sinha have repeatedly argued in the past that india must develop a global striking capability with a credible ICBM force in the near future many europeans and americans have voiced that india need not develop an icbm with a range as i has 10000 km as its most distant adversary is china which it can aptly hit given its capabilities at present if india publicly accepts the agni 6 and its 10000 km plus range the us and european nations are bound to be irate however many in india argue that if china has been permitted to develop ballistic missiles with ranges beyond 10000 km then there is no reason why india should be left behind more so than technical the ge- uh, geopolitical holds up debtor- debtors immediate testing of india's icbm without scaring allies in the west agni 6 is believed to have the code name surya the sun it was shown at an exhibition at iit kanpur which proves its existence and drdo scientists have never denied that the program exists it is safe to assume that india has an icbm with a 10000 km range however the big question is when will india test the agni 6 or it has already been tested quietly just comment and let me know thank you